here we are in the studio. This is where all the magic's going to happen. We've got super cool sets. We've had quite a few Club World Cups now. I really like the booths. We go all the way around here, like horseshoe formation. All the big names are here. This is currently set up for groups A and C, which both our teams will hashtag plus Fnatic fall in, obviously. Might be able to see Fnatic behind me there, and the young Tom Lease, who's on loan, as we know, from hashtag to Fnatic. Uh, not in the same group as hashtag, but they could meet in the first knockout round. Just behind us there, we have hashtag Shory and hashtag Harry getting ready in there. Hashtag United decorating booth. Obviously, we're hoping for a good day at the office today, and overall, three good days to get as deep into the competition as possible. Right, so we're about to kick off here. We've got three matchups today. Uh, each matchup we're playing 1v1 PlayStation, 1v1 Xbox, and a 2v2 game. So nine points up for grabs in each matchup. Uh, we're about to kick off Gillette Infinity Fairs. Come on, boys, let's go up the tags. Right, fellas, next game is me versus Tass. We've only ever played once in a competitive game and he beat me 5-1, but we have decided to be actual human beings and, and have a gentleman's agreement. So we're not going to play over low ball side because, you know. Honestly, we, what, since FIFA 15 we've both been playing, right? We played each other once. I feel like it's rare for the fans to see Tass be Harry. Do they really want to see? They, they don't want to see a nil nil with no shots, do they? Like, uh, every single game is. You could say nil nil if we had like four clear cut chances each, but not just freaking passing it around. Yeah. But we're trying to make it entertaining for the fantastic mate. Hashtag Harry. Well, it's the box and all he has created. Hashtag Harry finds Cristiano Ronaldo. Money into Ronaldo. Here's our nine. And speaking of killing off the game. Hashtag Harry finds a pocket of space. Wes has got quite a good record of coach because obviously Tom got top two last event, so I maybe leave leave some of the words to him. He would like to see himself as this guru now, so I'll, I'll just let him get onto it, and then I'll just come in and be like, pause it, pause it. It's a bit of a team team effort. All right, good work. We'll see you in another game soon, and uh, on with the action. All right, so H W, we've got some connection issues with Xbox, so we're going straight into the two v two match now. We just need to be getting it into midfield a bit more. So yeah. Walk into yeah, yeah. Round three is underway. To 90 plus two, it was hashtag, and it was hashtag Harry with R9 that picked up a huge three points. I imagine from kickoff, near post shot from Sadio Mane. Yes guys, so that is the end of day one here at the FIFA E Club World Cup. And we're first. We are first. On day one. In the table. Yeah, we've come out with 16 points out of 27. Um, we only lost one game, I think, which is actually, you know, it's not bad at all. A lot of draws in there, but Drury over here. Yeah, the 2-2 two -two is funny, because like, sometimes I'll switch to the wrong player and Harry will be like, Drury, yeah. what are you doing? It's like, get off, because I was like, but like, it's fair. I was know, telling, he's the captain. I was telling him to chill and me to like, 
press and tackle because I press and tackle as my style defending. His style defending is just running past the attacker. Yeah. Also, Tom and Tech. Uh, I think Tom 24 has, points. Tom won every single game. They're on 24 points. He's so 27. Tom, Tom is so good. Tom's actually the best player in the world, 100%. Yeah, day one over here. Us and Fnatic doing well, which is fantastic. Obviously, more importantly, us. We just want to avoid fourth. So if it comes second or third, we avoid until the final, and that'd be fantastic. That would be so lovely. That's what we're working towards, and see you tomorrow. Come on, boys. Right, start of day two, we've got two more group games to do. The first one is like uh, a clash of the UK Titans. We've got uh, Stokes versus Harry, Gorilla versus Shory, and then a 2v2. So we're top of the table, start of the day, but we need to get some wind under our belt because it's all changed. These are the matches we're going to be looking at in round four of leg one. Anyway, hashtag United going up against Neo. Massive, massive matchup to start the day. It is Stokes who takes up one goal leading for Neo. And that is the full time whistle, and it will be a fantastic result there for Neo. Three points on the board in their first game of the day. Tom Stokes getting the job done. dealt with this mad gorilla press for like 50 minutes and he, he did an unbelievable job. So going into that 2v2 match now, uh, yeah, but the table has massively tightened up, so we still need to get some wins. Come on, lads. Cristiano Ronaldo on the ball, the heel to heel, the scoop turn, the strength to hold off the player, and look at this overlapping run here from Kylian Mbappe, space the near post. One thing you can do in 2v2 is you can counter-attack very quickly, very effectively. There's Mane on the right-hand side. He's just going to smash it near post again. Today went well, as you would have seen. We got six points against Neo. Nordvind, I think we ended up with six, six as well. Shory won both his, I lost both mine, but we're through to the group anyway, so anything that's happened in the past is quite irrelevant. The 2v2, even the goal at the end was irrelevant. It didn't really mean anything. Now, big knockout game coming up. We're playing against uh, oh, NASA. NASA, is it? NASA, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna be playing first the 1v1 Xbox game, then we'll have a 2v2 game on PS. If we win and draw, you know, both of them games, then we're through. Because we come top of the group, we got to pick who went, and because of the fact I lost two today and Shory won two today, we just thought we'd let, not? let Shory play. It's about the current, maybe higher the rankings, but it's about what's happening now, and Shory's going to play better. Just got to enjoy the tournament, so let's just go have fun. Even you know, even if we lose the first game, we can still pull it back, but that's not going to happen, so well, I hope not. <laughs> so uh, yeah, big game's coming up, and then if we win this game today, we'll be through to tomorrow, and it's Championship Sunday, so that would be excellent stuff. So. Brilliant, what if it be day three? Day three, mate, come on. Can I record? Give me the camera. <laughs> How do I do it? Jeez, what? You've got this. Go on, focus me That's up. crazy. Focus me up. Wait, you lot have a sick job. Um, How do I focus you up? This thing. 
Well, I don't know how to do that. I'll break something. Can you focus it yourself? Take United taking on NASA Esports, a game that we're watching at the moment, Roma versus FaZe Clan, Fnatic versus Gillette, Infinity, and of course in the bottom right there, Neo versus Redemption Esports. And it looks at this point like it might be NASA Esports. They've got the first goal, and it's Ronaldo R9 on that left foot, on the volley for the cross. Still 1-1 between Hashtag and NASA Esports. It's not just a little bit of fun right now, it's for the money, it's for those placement points, it's for the chance to qualify. Oh to my goodness it. gracious! I don't believe what we have just seen from Hashtag United. I mean, I don't know about what we've seen from Hashtag, it's more what we've just seen from NASA Esports. And Hashtag United now are on the attack once again, and ooh, Cristiano Ronaldo! He's picked the pocket of Philip, who's having an absolute oh. shocker! Second Ronaldo on the return header as well! As we move back to that game, and now there's a shot, and it is an equaliser here for NASA Esports! the mixer, stop playing it short, take the risk, take the chance, it's an absolute shambles in the back. And it's Hashtag who are trying to find their way towards goal, but unfortunately there's a technical error in that game, just as Hashtag were on the edge of the box as well. That isn't going to help anything, the frustration, you have to wait for a restart, let me have sort that one. Need a goal to send this to a draw and send this to a deciding 1v1 game, oh no, oh it's missed! Just wide of the target. Van Dijk wins the ball and it's going to be the final whistle here. As NASA Esports cause the upset and progress into our quarterfinals. And it is a huge upset. And you can see what it means to the Hashtag boys as well. They've been playing so well throughout the tournament. And that is going to be a tough pill to swallow. Lads, we're here for the day three of the Club World Cup, a day which we should be participating in. We expected to be participating in from the start, but a few things happened in that first game, which I think you would have seen. It's like in FIFA, okay, uh, I had two post hits. We should have equalised. We should have all this stuff, but it's football. It's FIFA. It happens. But like the DC at an online event, like when you're about to score, it's like an eight in ten chance of scoring. It, as a casual, you might not see that as a pro, it definitely is, so disappointing. But now we've got to move on. Uh, we still had a good tournament, we still finished top of the group, so that was decent at least. Got a few points, now it's all about supporting Tom and Tex. There's more important things in life than FIFA, so there's no point dwelling on the past. We look forward to support our mate and teammate, Tom and Tex. We're about to go in now, today. support the boys, hopefully Tom and Tex can bring it through. Come on, fellas. See you later. <laughs> 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 hey, that sums up my tone. Catch you. <laughs> One last chance to send this and send Fnatic into the semi finals. Oh, what a ball that is as well. And Bappe's going to get there ahead of his man. Mbappe ah. fighting with Alexander Arnold, but somehow the fullback gets a toe on it. And we're going extra time. That's I don't it. know if there's going to be enough time for another attack. We are going to the spot. Cristiano Ronaldo puts it away, bottom right. Sudden death then. Frankie De Jong has to score. Puts it away and now Tom has the chance if he saves this penalty to put Fnatic in to the semi-finals. No! He's missed the target! He's missed the target! Heartbreak for Borussia! Ecstasy for Fnatic! Well, I can't even say penalty chance. Like Everything Harry taught me I didn't do. <laughs> 
So like, he told me what, two, three weeks ago? Now. Like, on, on paper, it's like the student become master in that one, but the student became master for like one day, and then, yeah. he's, I mean, he's still better than he was, trust me, because he would have lost that if he was like yeah. on the Thornton so he's like, still held. I'm back to being a shooter. Uh, I can't give myself credit for that pen shootout, but, I think without sounding like arrogant or confident, I think I won it. I think I deserve to win in the third leg. Why don't you let um, you shoot? Yeah, yeah, like oh a few God. times. Like back my, my, my head went. I think I broke that barrier when you won the pen shot by, by the way, as well. Yeah. I just leaped over it. I think it. I broke Tex as well. <laughs> nearly broke his neck. I thought we were going to be out of the tournament and knocked out because we lost, but trust me, I'm, I'm on a tournament with an injury now. <laughs> like my neck, honestly, you watch it back slow mo. I haven't heard it, so I don't know if you can see. But I don't know if I got it, but. Like, it still hurts now, Stax. I'll have to it do a slow motion now, replay or something. But trust me. Thank you very much, Spencer. And it is finally time to get into our second semi-final now. The game is ready to go. 11s versus Fnatic. The first game is a 1v1. Well, there's a big chance here for Mbappe. Ball roll inside from Tom. Cristiano Ronaldo! And the first goal of the game goes to Fnatic! Attack celebrates in the background as well. Fnatic's Tom, what a performance. He puts it in the first leg here. Advantage to Fnatic. Full time whistle goes, and ladies and gentlemen, we are going to a third game. And the baton is now handed to Tex from Tom. Whipped into Van Dyke, sent across goal. Oh! Strike! Straight off the training ground! Brasende oh! might have just sent 11s through to the final. Brasende and 11s are in the final. It's so tough when you're on the receiving end of it. So tough for Tom after getting the victory. So, unfortunately, me and Tex went out in the semi-final, uh, couldn't get the win in the end, but a lot of good experiences, really fun playing 2 me 2 I'm sure you two both enjoy playing with each other as well. Good luck to 11s and Complexity in the final, and yeah, I mean, don't have time to do anything really, because there's a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, be sure to drop a like and also comment down below on this man's amazing performance. Dude. And also, you know, we did okay, slightly unlucky, but you know, we moved forwards, not backwards. It's really good. Do it. And yeah, until the next one, boys. Don't forget to hashtag it. Come on, Tom, hashtag it. Yeah! yeah man, I've been waiting five minutes for that. <laughs>